All right, we got one side of this uh, brake drum off and the backing plate, so now we're going to pull this side off. Kind of learned what to do on the other one. And uh, basically, we've removed two little screws here, and this uh, old drum just jumps off of here. Almost like it knew what it was doing. <clears throat> yeah, that one doesn't have that ridge. It's not been turned, so. Um, you're going to take all these brakes off, pull the emergency cable out, pull this axle out, and get the backing plate off like we did on the other side. And, uh, and then we'll take this whole rear end to a rebuilder to put a posi track rear end in it. First thing we did, since uh, my friends were heckling me for not having the proper tool, remove these little spring deals using the proper tool. A little more proficient at it this time. See how I popped that off and dropped it right in the oil pan? Perfect. Good thing we get a new one of those. A lot of guys that aren't as good at this, you know, when they take these off, they catch them in their hands and everything. But when you've been at this as long as I have, you can drop it right in that oil pan. What doing this today? That's what doing this today in practice gets you. There's two little pins. Hold those spring clips in, and uh, I'm move that oil pan just out of the way. And what we did on the other one is we actually just pulled this apart instead of trying to remove those springs, and then you can pull the Great adjuster out, and there's a couple other springs. We uh, photographed the Dickens out of the other one, so we're not going to have to do too much photo work on this one. We probably took 25 pictures on the other side. couple of springs down there, and now we're down to the emergency brake piece. This spring just pulls back and this slides right off of here. And uh, that piece. And again, I just pull this back. sits on the outside of the larger emergency brake return spring. Both of those pop off. The uh, trusty assistant price over here has got all the uh, bags set up so we put all the parts on each side of one bag and now we're ready to pull that uh, master cylinder off. What do we use on that? Half inch? Half inch. Kind of tap this one on the other side so put the screws back in just a little bit. And give it a little love tap.
Okay. So that's all the brake components. And uh, now we're just gonna take this axle housing off, get this backing plate. So we pull these out, the axle just slides right off. Uh, we'll nine sixteenths. No, that was the green in there. That was something else. That was Oregon. Was it? So there's a little aluminum washer on this, and then this axle just slides out of there. We slid it right back in a minute ago, so we can sandblast it without getting grease in there. And then this nut, there's two nuts in here. I'll get a chisel and chisel that. This uh, little nut has a washer that's got an ear turned up. Probably should hang on it. Hold on. Yep. We'll tap that ear down. There's a little special nut with a bunch of tangs on it that uh, keeps those the preload on the bearing and keeps that held together. Once you get all those nuts off, then this just pops off with a little conical bearing. all that back in here in just a second. So now all we gotta do is take off these uh, bolts here and take the backing plate off and then we'll just reassemble all this. Uh, then we're gonna sandblast, get all the dirt off of it, sandblast it and take it to a, a rear end rebuilder. We're gonna put a posi track rear end in it. This had a 354 gear in it. So probably put a little taller gear in it and uh, we'll be done. Download the RestoRat app today to begin managing, tracking, and documenting your restoration project.